This video is not spend $12,000 on going to conferences and making connections or even write blog posts daily until your fingers fall off and then repurpose all of that content onto every single social media platform. No, those are not the things that you should be focusing on if you wanna become a successful creative entrepreneur. In fact, doing those things is probably going to distract you and make it take longer for you to get to your goal. So what should you be doing? You might not wanna hear this, but if you listen and actually do what I say, you will already be so far ahead of the competition that I promise you. Now, most people, when they think about starting a business, they think, okay, I need to learn the business strategy, which will get me to multiple six figures. And I need to read every blog post on how to land premium price projects from day one. And I need to start offering day rates because those are sexy. <laughs> and the truth is, if you're just starting, none of those things are going to serve you because you're missing the one vital piece of the puzzle first. People always jump to the business strategy and the how they're gonna make money and they're maybe even eyeing up some passive income strategies too, which okay, fine, you're building a business, knowing some business strategy might seem intelligent, but here is the first key puzzle piece. If you aren't actually good at the skill of the service which you intend to offer, the business strategy doesn't really matter. <laughs> If you wanna be a conversion copywriter and your copy doesn't convert, it's not gonna be long before word gets out. Or if you're a social media strategist who can't get your client's social media to grow, or you're a website designer who produces websites which look like this, it's gonna be a long, hard road of unhappy clients, no referrals, and always hustling on your marketing strategy of posting your entire life to Instagram. And even then you're gonna feel behind because almost no one is booking you. What really separates the successful creative entrepreneurs from the unsuccessful ones? First, successful creative entrepreneurs produce amazing quality work. People always ask me the hack to being a successful website designer. And they say things like, okay, okay, obviously building great websites that look really good aside, what do I need to do to be super successful as a website designer? And I'm like, no, that's like literally the thing. Building great websites is actually half the battle. Yes, there are other pieces of the puzzle and we will get to those in just a moment, but seriously, producing amazing work isn't just some like side note or afterthought, it's legitimately the essential foundation to being a successful website designer, for example. And again, this goes for any creative entrepreneurial venture. Good luck becoming the talk of the town award-winning photographer without actually being good at photography. First, successful creative entrepreneurs are genuinely skilled at the service they're offering. There's just no way around that part. Now, if you spend two days learning to build websites and then weeks trying to market your web designer services, you're spending your time on the wrong thing. I can't tell you the number of my past students who got clients even before they began marketing their business or had created their own website or even had a proper portfolio because they just learned the skill of website design so darn well through my Square Secrets course. And then as those websites were seen by others, those site visitors started inquiring about their services. Now long-term, yes, you absolutely need a marketing strategy and a business plan and all those things, but don't put the cart before the horse. Before either of those things, spend time on learning the skill that you wanna offer, be that web design or copywriting or social media management or content creation, or branding or photography or calligraphy or whatever creative entrepreneurial venture really lights your heart on fire. Get genuinely good at that thing first, then move on to this next bit. The other thing I want you to know is that business is genuinely so simple. There are three circles to a successful business owner's Venn diagram. First, you need to pick your ideal client. Not multiple ideal clients, one ideal client. Second, you need to pick a marketing strategy. Not multiple marketing strategies, one marketing strategy. And third, you need to choose one offer. Not multiple offers, but just one offer. Ideal client marketing strategy offer. You can build a million dollar business just from that. Most people don't. Most people get some success with this and then they start adding a zillion more different things to their business and then they drop the ball on the thing which made them successful in the first place and then they find themselves stalling and plateauing in their growth of their business. But truly the easiest way to build a six figure or multi six figure or million dollar business is by doing these three things and only these three things. And I'm serious when I say, you pick these three things and then you serve the same ideal client, you implement the same marketing strategy and you deliver the same offer again and again and again and again for your first year and then a second year and then a third year and so on. And after a few years, yeah, we can maybe talk about adding a bit more complication, but trust me, if you're watching this video for beginners, we are not there yet, Linda. Comment below if your name's Linda. Hi, Linda, nice to see you. <laughs> if you're thinking about serving that client with that offer and attracting more projects with the marketing strategy that you decided on, and your heart just sinks and you just can't imagine doing that long-term. And to be honest, if that's the case, 
that's a really good thing because that indicates maybe we didn't pick the right three things for you. Most overnight successes took 10 years to get to where they are. Honestly, fun exercise for you. Go pull up the profile, website, channel, whatever of the entrepreneur that you're currently envying and then scroll back. How long have they been at it for? I bet you, I bet you it's been at least five years, maybe 10, maybe 15. Overnight success really isn't a thing. And it's important for you to know this because when you believe that overnight success is the norm that you're supposed to start today and be a megastar tomorrow, you are going to feel terrible about yourself. You're gonna get really discouraged and you're gonna give up way too soon. Look at Taylor Swift. She is the biggest thing to hit music this year. She had a billion dollar tour, but when I went to her Fearless concert, I think I was in like the 11th grade, I got my ticket. There was no like pre-sale, pre-sale register for these 45 things. Then you basically get put in a lottery to maybe get a ticket like there is now. She didn't have the demand back then that she has now. She is the biggest star now, but she has been singing and touring and writing songs and working for over a decade. All my OG Swifties, by the way, who went to the Fearless Tour, good taste, friend, good taste. <laughs> okay, so if you're not loving the idea of doing those three things that you picked for literally years, and you maybe aren't that stoked on the ideal client that you chose, or you maybe feel like that marketing strategy that you picked just isn't your vibe, and you only chose it because that's what all the other cool kid entrepreneurs are doing, or maybe the service offering you decided on maybe you're not actually that big of a fan of fulfilling that service, then good, genuinely, because it's better to learn that now than years in after a ton of work. It's okay to take the time to pick the three things, the ideal client, the offer, and the marketing strategy, which you would genuinely enjoy. And if the idea of doing any of those three things for the next seven years makes you wanna cry, then the time to reevaluate is right now. Because if you have your eye on being the go-to creme de la creme in the industry, the most successful copywriter or graphic designer or whatever, then that's gonna take some time. If you need more help, by the way, on picking the right ideal client, the right marketing strategy, and the right offer, by the way, I have future videos coming out on those topics, so do subscribe to the channel to see those. Now, let's say you've got those three things nailed. Let's talk about the steps. Step one. Pick the service you're most excited about offering. Website design, photography, click free, branding, social media, whatever it is. Whatever one lights your heart on fire, do that. Step number two, get good at it. Improve upon the actual skill. Step three is to pick that offer, client, and marketing strategy. Step four is to implement. And if you find that you have no clients, but the work you're producing is really great, then take all the time that you would have spent serving clients and put that into learning about and researching and improving upon executing whatever your marketing strategy is. And step number five is to celebrate your action and not the outcome, and then continue implementing. Now, number five is key because coming back to my point of most people expect to be an overnight success and then are upset when it doesn't happen. Again, the first issue with that is it's flawed thinking in the first place. It's just a completely incorrect idea that you would be a smash hit by now. And second, you're focusing on the wrong thing. When we focus on the outcome, we set ourselves up for failure because there are aspects to our success which are just outside of our control. Focusing on the fact that you are not a millionaire by now is focusing on an outcome that you can't fully control. Instead, start focusing on what you can control. You can control the number of times that you implement your marketing strategy. You can control getting 1% better every day. The most successful entrepreneurs are those who are good at delayed gratification. Those who can continue working without any immediate positive feedback are the ones who go on to get outsized returns. Of course, delayed gratification is different than never getting any inquiries from potential clients. If you are struggling with getting enough client inquiries, watch this video next and I'll give you the exact strategy for client finding success.